Hey folks, this is a guide for the 10th EverQuest Anniversary Tower Key and Mission Quests called Broken Key of Fear and Oasis of Fear. I'm running this on the test server, but it will be live after the patch on Wednesday, October 16th. Like normal for these quests, you need to launch it by picking up the blue ground spawn outside the 10th floor door and right-clicking the broken key. This one has us going to Fearot to complete the key. Once you're there, head to the northwest part of the zone to trigger a proximity-based spawn of the Thulean Tarantula. You have to get pretty close to trigger it, which you can do here. This is then basically an escort mission. About every minute, it'll walk a bit further south, and just like Kazakh Thul, it likes to path right on top of zone geometry. After every second time it stops, it'll spawn a level-appropriate spider for you to kill, so make sure you're grouped with a level 1 in zone if you're trying to easily solo this one. Its pathing is time-based, so if you're slow killing that spawned spider, it'll go ahead and wander off again. Just try to keep up with it. The sixth time it stops, the third spider will spawn, and the Thulean Tarantula will despawn. This will give us the third key piece to fix the key. Combine the pieces into your broken key and head back to the tower in North Row. We launch the mission itself by right-clicking on the now repaired key and head into it on the 10th floor door. It's safe to zone in. Nothing is active if you don't move. It should be some collection of zombies and egg sacs that you see, and the boss, a spider, off in the far right corner. Once everybody's in and ready, you just step forward to activate the event. Your first step will either be to kill two egg sacs or two zombies. When you kill any of those, it's going to spawn two spiders. The zombies are slowable but not mezzable, and the little spiders are mezzable. It seemed like the zombies had time-based spawns, so those were coming active before I'd even finished with the previous waves. I think the coding might still be a little bit of a work in progress on this one on test. Anyway, once you work your way through the three waves of two zombies or two egg sacs and all the spiders they spawn, the boss will spawn and charge you. Seems about the same difficulty as most of them, and the AEs weren't really significant, but one was a snare and slow, and the other was a root, with some damage components on them. I seem to be mostly resisting them. It's only a negative 200 check against magic. All right, now that we're done, we can interact with the vendor on the ground floor for this mission. Let's go check the loot. Here we've got another ring, this is the level 55 version. Seems pretty similar to the other ring it offered. So those of you who are wearing the level 45 ring can upgrade to this one for some additional hit points and mana. There's also some stat drink you can buy, but that's pretty much garbage. Come to a Lethar carry raid on Vanaki instead and get much better drink like this. I might know a guy who runs it. And for illusions, you might ask? I kind of lost track of which is from which mission, but I believe it's this shield and this weapon ornament. Question mark? Okay, that's what you need to know for this quest. Good luck out there, everyone.